Hey, what's going on guys? On today's episode of Snack Chat, we've got two amazing items for you. They're both from Burger King, and the first one is the Texas Double Whopper, and the second is the infamous Whopper Dog. The Texas Double Whopper is actually a lot like a normal Whopper, except that they add jalapenos and bacon. And for some weird reason, they switch out the ketchup for mustard. Recently, with specials such as the Mac and Cheetos, Burger King has definitely taken an eccentric approach. With the Texas Double Whopper, I would hope for something next level, like the addition of like pulled pork and barbecue sauce, or, or like brisket. You know how like Arby's has been doing it? And now, it's time to try the Texas Double Whopper. First thing I'm already noticing off the bat, this thing is a lot more beefier than a normal Whopper. The addition of the bacon, that's pretty crucial for me as well. That's pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Um, the thing about these pickled jalapenos, they ain't hot to me. They ain't enough. But, the addition of them is a nice gesture. We have emergency spells. Martin, could you, could you cut, me, cut me one? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, overall, I really do recommend the Texas Double Whopper. The jalapenos can be a little bit tasteless, but you're finally getting a Whopper with bacon, so, uh... The Whopper Dog contains all the same ingredients that a normal Whopper has. Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, ketchup, mayo. The one thing that I wish it has was some form of cheese. Mm. I definitely think I would instantly like it a lot more. I love my little brother so much that I got him his very own Whopper Dog to try with me. Are you excited? First impressions, turd texture, turd color, toilet paper bun. <laughs> oh, but they rescued it with iceberg lettuce and weak old tomatoes, so. It could almost be good, but the mayo just ruins it. Like, if there was hot sauce, it would be edible. My brother's looked a lot better. This is like a train wreck compared to his, but here we go. Okay, already, like, the bun was just, like, sticking to the bottom. Honestly, there is not one part of me that believes these are real grill marks. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Do you think these are real grill marks? I don't. I actually think they are just because this